Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 913. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video we have a bunch of sheets, 1 to 31, one for each day in the month. We have some revenues and a total, expenses and a total, and we need to take this expense and this revenue for day one and show them on the report sheet. But here's the trick. We want to be able to type any day here, say 20, and have our report populated with the numbers from sheet 20. If I type a 2, it's got to show 2. If a 1, got to show 1. Now, the, we'll see two things here. First, we want to learn the basics of doing sheet references. And sheet reference just means do a formula that looks over to another sheet. And then we'll see how to automate it uh, by uh, typing any number here, and it will automatically pull those numbers from a different sheet. All right, sheet references. Well, what's a cell reference? Cell reference is when you type equals, you click on some cell, and you type enter. Okay, notice that was three clicks. I'm going to delete that. Well, sheet reference has, instead of three clicks, four. Equals, click on the sheet, click on the cell. You can see your sheet reference start to merge up here, and enter. Now let's look at this sheet reference. I'm going to hit F2. The explanation point says uh, to the formula, I am, a, instead of D18 on this um, sheet here, this is a special sheet reference. That means the sheet reference. That's the name of the sheet, right, one. And these single apostrophes are in case you have spaces, because you can't have spaces in a formula unless you're doing an intersection operation, which we're not doing here. All right, now let's do this again. And I'm going to uh, show you uh, a problem that sometimes people have when they're doing sheet references for the first time. All right, ready? Equals. Click on the sheet, get my number, and then they accidentally click back on the other sheet. Now look up here. That is uh, the name of the sheet one. If you go back and click on this sheet, our sheet reference changes. So as soon as you start clicking on sheets, whichever sheet you click on, it'll throw that name in. That's not what we want. So remember, sheet reference equals, click on the sheet, click on the cell, enter. Now net income, I'm going to take revenues minus expenses. All right, so obviously if I change this to a 2, nothing happens. So let's look at this, F2. What changes each time? For us, it's the, the number 1 and 2. In, Later, I'll show you an example of if, uh, if you don't have numbers, how you would do this trick also. So what we really would like to do is take this formula, the sheet reference, but have this link to that cell and change. It's going to involve two steps. The first is using the indirect function. The indirect function exists only for this one reason. Take a text string that represents a reference and convert it back to a reference. So watch this. Put that sheet reference in double quotes, it converts it to text, right? I know this is a silly formula here, but we'll see how to amend it in just a moment, right? So what it did technically is it took that text string, converted it back to a reference. Well, now we can amend this. Text strings are always contained within double quotes. Now what we would like is to have that that little bit right there, apostrophe parentheses, then join it to that cell and then have the rest of this cell reference as a text string. So really we want to join three things together. Right? Now remember, double quotes contain any text string. So since I want these two things, I have to click right here and type a double quote. So now I have this little bit as a text string and I'm going to join it using the join symbol shift 7, the ampersand. Now I'm going to delete that one because what do I want to join? I want to click up there. And now I need to have this remaining bit as a text string, so I join it, double quote. So now I've joined three things. Those two things in double quotes, joined with that, and this in double quotes. All right, and so when I hit enter, boom. All right, so now I'm going to do this to this one too. Indirect, double quotes, end key, end double quotes, close parentheses. Now here's a great trick. If you're going to just replace 
one thing within a text string. You highlight the thing you want to replace or, or link to a cell. Double quote, ampersand, ampersand, double quote. Then you click in the middle of the two ampersands, and boom. And there we have it. That is amazing. Watch this. I'm going to change it to 2. And sure enough, it pulled the numbers from sheet number 2. 278 and 81,000, right? Look at that. If I change it to 3, boom, it's pulling the 83 and the 244. So whatever I put in here, 31, it's got it. All right. So this formula allowed us to do it when we had a 1, 2, 3. But what if we have longer, more complicated sheet names? Let's go to the end. I'm going to click on the uh, show the last few sheets and click on this sheet for report. Oh, and look, January B13, Jan February D13, March Q13. So each one has a different name, but we have a similar situation. We need to pull these numbers over on our report sheet. The trick is you want to put your sheet name. So you type them out or however you want to get them there. And we're going to build similar formulas, but we want a drop down. So when we select the sheet name, it'll just automatically populate the cells with the sheet references and ultimately the numbers from those sheets. I'm going to use data validation and add a drop down that points to this list right here. Alt D L. Alt D L. I don't want to allow any value. I want to allow a list. Where is the source? Click OK. So now I can just select this. All right. So this is optimal if you have you know a sheet with 30 or 40 um, uh, sheets with lots of data. Right. You just create your sheet name, drop down, and boom. So now we come over here. I'm going to still do my sheet reference just to get the basics of the syntax. Right. Click on that revenue number. That's the JB13. I'm going to come here and direct. Put it in double quotes. Close parentheses. Highlight just the little bit that you want. Double quote, ampersand, ampersand, double quote. Click in the middle. In essence, we added a quote to get that. And that is text string. And here is, boom, our sheet references. Uh, equals, click over here, click on the sheet reference, enter. Double quote, end key. The end key jumps to the end of the formula. Double quote, close parentheses. Double quote, ampersand, ampersand, double quote. And then boom. Equals up, up, minus up, arrow. got to be kidding me. That is so amazing. So from a drop down, we're allowed to pull data right from the sheet. So I'm going to go over here. It's 14,001. Look at that. Totally amazing. All right. Um, we'll see you next trick.